John Morgan. Welcome to the latest edition of Championship Rounds. Getting ready for USC 278 this Saturday night, August 20th in Salt Lake City. Dana, we got Kamaru Usman, Leon Edwards in the main event, of course. I got to ask you, Kamaru, look at what he's trying to do. Sixth title defense of the welterweight division, but potentially tying Anderson Silva's record of 16 straight USC victories, which I'll be honest, I didn't think anybody was ever going to tie that record. All the talk now is, is he the greatest of all time at welterweight? But I want to get your opinion on that because George St. Pierre has an argument. He had nine title defenses, so he did defend the title a little bit longer, and he did it against nine different guys. So where do you stand? Yeah, I, I don't think there's any denying that he's the greatest welterweight of all time. The question is, is he up there with, with everybody else? You know what I mean? He's up there with John Jones and Anderson Silva and GSP. He's one of the greatest of all time. He's already the greatest welterweight. No denying that. So you put him past George St. Pierre, even though he doesn't have as many title defenses yet. Look at all the people. Look at who he's beat. Look at the guys that he's beat, and he's coming around to beat him again for a second time. He's lapping guys that are just nasty. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and the best being Colby Covington. I mean, if Kamaru Usman does not exist, Colby Covington is the world champ, and uh, he beat him twice. I mean, you just, you, you can't deny it. And, and, and it's always a little unfair looking at different eras, you know what I mean? And he's undefeated, you know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody's ever beat him in the UFC. Won the ultimate fighter. I mean, I mean, you just, you, you can't deny it. I, I know people want to hate on Usman and everybody loves GSP. It's a fact. So I want to ask you about Leon, right? Six different bout cancellations, the no contest via the eye poke. I mean, the guy has just... He's been snake bit the last couple years. So I'm just curious what you make of him and his character, you know, to kind of keep battling through all these unfortunate situations to be here right now and seemingly with a lot of confidence. Yeah, he's had a, a, a serious bad luck streak for sure, man. He's going into Salt Lake City, sold out venue, tons of hype behind this moment, you know, uh, and, and he can come in with the storybook ending and uh, stop him from beating Anderson Silva's, uh, you know, record. All right, getting ready for a rematch seven years in the making. I mean, is that in itself a little bit crazy to you that, you know, you've been at this game so long that you can be looking at a fight from seven years ago? Now that you say, yeah, I didn't really think of it like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, Leon's a tough guy. I always knew that uh, skillful, skillful fighter. And I always knew that he would make his way uh, through the division. I didn't know how far he would get, but... You know, he's here now, so we got to deal with him. We talked about the first fight, but it was so long ago. I mean, it, it, is there any factor at all? Like, is there anything in the, whether it be mentally, psychologically, anything that you take from that first fight that benefits at all? Um, For me, no. It's just a, I look at it as a brand new fight, a brand new opponent. He's improved, um, I've improved, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's two different fights. Well, first fought, I was only doing um, martial arts for like four or five years. Um, I'm, now, I'm now 30 years old. This is my fourth main event for the UFC, and um, it's just two different fights, and I am excited to go out there and prove to the world. The interesting part about this, right, is your grappling has gotten way better, his striking has gotten way better, but at the end of the day, what kind of fight do you expect? I mean, do you think that he'll want to come out and strike with you? Do you think he ultimately just reverts back to his Yeah, days? yeah, probably, probably. If, if, I'm, if I was him, I would do, I'd come out and try to wrestle, you know? Um, I think he's going to try to come out and strike. Um, you gotta think like he was a wrestler for his whole life and to now he's getting like finishes. You know, fall in love with it, it's natural for, for that to happen, you know, but um, I am just leaps ahead of him when it comes to striking. Um, he's, he's a good wrestler, but I'm a good mixed martial artist. I can put it all together, great jiu-jitsu, good grappling. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. When I, when I picture the fight in my head, it all, all plays out different. But when you do fight, it never plays out how you portray it, you know, so we'll see. What's the most important part of this? I mean, is it is it about becoming UFC champion and that alone, or is it about some extraction of a measure of revenge of the guy, the last person to beat you? Um, All of it, all of it, you know. Obviously, he was the last person to, to, to get a decision over me seven years ago. Um, but number one is to be a world champion. And I know how much it means to my team and to my family and to me and um, how, how hard I've worked to get here, you know, and... So, number one is to become a world champion. Stylistically, obviously, it's going to be, you would think, different. I mean, you guys have both improved greatly since the first meeting. But I just wonder, I mean, in that time, in seven years, can his wrestling get better than your wrestling? Can your striking get better than his striking? I mean, can it, can those flip on either side, or is this still kind of a similar fight? 
Uh, not a similar fight. I think we're, we're both much more experienced, which means we're, we're both going to uh, take our time and be able to, now we can set up kind of what we want to set up and, and pull out some of the tricks you know, that we, we plan to. But uh, one thing for sure, there's a reason wrestling is the hardest sport in the world. Um, seven years, it can improve greatly. It can improve greatly to where you're utilizing it better, you're, you're defending better with it. But when it comes down to it, let's be honest, he don't want to wrestle with me. You know, and that's not, that's, it just doesn't matter. I've been doing this for almost over 20 years, and seven years, you, yeah. It's not going to get better than mine. It's going to be effective, but it's not going to get better than mine. When it comes down to it, at the end of the day, it's him and I locked in there. If we can shut out everybody, he knows what's going to happen, and I know what's going to happen.